Okay, now let's work with the inverter. Connect it to the battery holder. It's, sim it's simply matching color. Red with red and black with black. I need to strip this with scissor because my finger and nail string are capable to do the job. If you have a wire stripper that is better but I'm too lazy and too cheap to buy one. <laughs> Don't mind the stupid joke. As an option, if you have this smaller black or whatever the color is, heat shrink tube about 2 millimeter or 3 millimeter, that is good to make your wiring connection look pretty. Cut it in half. Connect the wire. Twist it and to add strength to the connection, you might want to solder it again. Oops, oops, oops. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, we need to insert this hitch ring first before make the connection. Almost forgot, almost forgot. Get the soldering jig again to help you easier. <clears throat> you might want to hold it longer. It's, oops, oops, oops. It's too loose. I need to tighten this. You might want to hold the hold it longer here so the lead will seep through the wire connection. Let's do the same with this black wire. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, if you want to make it pretty, feel free to do so.
then you can use your lighter or heat gun to shrink it I'm curious is there any such thing like a cold shrink because this is heat shrink so instead of using heat you are using whatever cold there you go we have the connection then let's work with the lamp connection to the inverter let me remove this tape go it straight to keep the wire in equal length With this connector, we will use it to connect to the inverter. Then take the head string again with the same size as previous one. It doesn't matter which side are you are connecting because I forgot is it DC or AC but it doesn't matter which side you are connecting <laughs> what a half ass tutorial <laughs> almost forgot almost forgot the hitch ring again don't mind me don't mind my stupid act just just get used to it twist it again Same with the other side. Just a bit, just a bit. It's also add soldering to strengthen the connection. Oh, stupid me. Wait, wait. Too fast. This is not the right step. Sorry, sorry. This is not what I usually do to check the connection. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Simply 
plug this in. Sorry, sorry. Plug in the battery. And be careful not to short the lamp. Voila, voila. Très bien, très bien. <laughs> okay, it looks good. Then we will work with the hitch ring tube for the next progress. <laughs>